Welcome to the Alyssa Goodman Show. And every week I get to interview game changers in the wellness and the beauty world. And today I have Janet Gunn, who is a truly a wonderful friend of mine, who actually I wouldn't be sitting on this couch if it wasn't for her. So thank you, Janet, for introducing <laughs> me to this place and helping me feel comfortable in front of the camera. But she really does help women inspire them to reinvent themselves as they age if they want to change their life in any way. She talks about health and fashion and beauty and fitness. There isn't anything she doesn't cover. You must follow her. Sign up for her newsletter and follow her on Instagram because she's one of my favorites. So welcome. Ah, thank you. I, that would be considered friends with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we won't tell about that part. The benefit part, uh, they're thinking, hmm. Uh oh, is she like like women? Uh, no, <laughs> but yeah, I know, no. I know. True, we are all friends with benefits. That's we help each other out. Absolutely. So we're Absolutely. in the same space and we're pumping each other up and yep. you know making it happen for each other. But yeah. tell me like what how you came into this world. Okay. With well, what you're I'm doing. I'm very excited <laughs> to be sitting on your couch. You know, on the couch with Alyssa Goodman. Um, well, basically I came, my background is acting, so yeah. I acted for many years, um, and then I got pregnant, had my son, and uh, I decided to stop working for a bit because I was really enjoying being involved in his world, you know, and I yeah. had, I was able to uh, uh, become just a stay-at-home mom, and I loved that, and I volunteered at a school all the time. And then I realized that, you know, you have daughters, yes. and when they get to a certain age, they become unbelievably independent and right. he was going to sleep away camp and you know i'd pass by his his room for a month and it would be I empty thought, wait a minute and it's <gasps> empty and i thought oh my god mm -hmm. this was a real light bulb moment for me to do something with my life because yeah. i thought i've got to i got to figure this out right so how am i going to do this and at 50 years old how am i what's going on i mean i'm going to have to reinvent myself so in the reinventing, reinventing process, I had to really, you know, I guess take a look within and figure out what is, what am I passionate about? What are my, you know, what can I do? What, what, yeah. what am I capable of doing? And what am I not good at doing? And I think it took, you know, like several months and it basically started out with waking up and uh, writing in a gratitude journal. Mm -hmm. And I had Love started that. this gratitude journal when I my saw favorites. an Oprah yeah. video. Oh. And she was interviewing this guy. Good old time, Oprah. And he said, yep, yeah, Oprah. All roads lead <laughs> back to Oprah, right? True, right. Oh my God. But she interviewed this guy and he said that everything changed. His life changed and doors just flew open after he started a gratitude journal. Mm -hmm. And I always thought to myself, you know what? I, I'm grateful. Of course I'm grateful. You live a grateful, you live that way, well, right? Well, I think we all Mostly. think we're grateful. Yeah. But when you dive into it and when you live in that space of experiencing gratitude, then you really start to become, uh, you have this personal relationship with gratitude. Yeah. You know, which mm -hmm. is the minute you wake up, you woke up. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Be grateful that you woke up. Right. And that I can the small you know, things walk like that. to the sink to brush my teeth. We have water, etc. You know, all these little things that I personally would take advantage of or, mm -hmm. you know, just or take take it uh, for granted. Yeah. You don't even think about it. You don't even think about mm -mm. it. But what happens when you think about it? Right. You know, and our bodies and our minds are such um, uh, phenomenons, you know, the way we work from the inside yeah. out. And when you really start to dive into that and just go introspective and uh, we are fascinating. Yes. And so it, it, all that, like starting with that, um, now what did you do with that? Next? Did you do, did you post those on your like website or something or on, on a social media platform, your gratitude? Did you talk about that? Yes. Is that so that's how a it great all... question. And that, this is how it happened. So I did, long story short, I did decide to do a blog. And I remember it came from my son's sitter at the time. And, and she said to me, why don't you start a blog? And I said, a blog? I don't even read blogs. <laughs> I don't even know right. how to write. Right. It's like, I can't do that. Right. She, you know, I, mm -mm, I came from That's the That's out of my world. wheelhouse. Yeah. So out of my wheelhouse. I say other people's words. Yeah. I don't know how to write my own. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at that, you know? 
And we have become good at that. She <laughs> said, well, thank you. But she said, yeah, but you can tell a story with pretty pictures. Mm. I thought, hmm, okay. So a little time, you know, goes by, whatever. I decide to do it. I, it was, I just dove into it. And I surrounded myself with a bunch of 20 year olds who knew how to work the internet who set me up smart lady on Squarespace and I <laughs> every one of them it was fabulous so I yeah. learned from these lovely young women I had a team of like three to four that all just had really good at you know different sort of areas and yeah that's how I learned wow and then my blog started and then I had an opportunity through a friend to go meet with uh Catherine Powers uh from who what where uh-huh and she said I don't really know what to tell you about your demographic because it's a little, it's definitely untapped and yeah. I don't have any answers for you, but I would say- Did that make say, you excited when she said untapped? Or- It did because I knew it was niche. Yeah. I knew, okay, this is good. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, she said, I would just look into the video. Let's look into the video world. So I launched what on Facebook, I would take my tripod and my yeah. iPhone and every morning, I did a 30 days of gratitude. Oh, wow. And I said, hi, I'm, I'm Janet mm -hmm. Gunn, and this is 30 days of gratitude. And I just want to know, what are you grateful for? And it just grew every did it day, go viral? every day, every day. I went, yeah. no, it didn't go viral. Or it was, but people were responding. Oh. And they were saying what they're grateful for. And all day long. So you were making an impact. Yeah, all day long. In a very simple get, way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great messages. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's where initially where I built my audience was from uh, the 30 days of gratitude. Tell okay. me what you're grateful for. And then it grew into like health and beauty and fashion and yep. everything this demographic is starving for. Yeah. Well, I and think. also more, even the bigger picture too is that it grew, what it does is that, you know, gratitude opens doors mm -hmm. because it will give you more to be grateful for. Yeah. And it True. introduces you like the people that just come your way. I mean, I never uh, I never think about I get excited every morning when I wake up and I open up my computer because I know that I'm going to be reached. You know, someone's going to reach out to me and right. and ask me for something. And, and that really makes my heart happy because then you can help. Yeah, you, know, you can help in yeah. some way in the way right. that I know how to help. And as long as I'm I'm trying to reach people from um, a grateful place, mm -hmm. you know, from that space. Yeah. Then I know that I'm doing the best job that I can, and it's just been it's I been amazing. That. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I know, really and it's amazing. also really changed you yeah. in terms of how you look at life and how you, like you said, how you go through the day and just, I mean, interestingly, this is probably, I guess, the question is, I mean, I feel like you've you've gone back in age and you've anti-age because of the way you're living. Do you feel like that has with, you know, just the gratefulness and being able to help people and being in your purpose and your passion, and then also being aware of the health world and fitness. Do you feel like you've sort of gone back? This is what I, I try to tell people. <laughs> I really, you know, I, and I believe this 200%. Mm -hmm. Anti-aging is mindset, mm -hmm. and there's no doubt that I am not. I mean, I'm all about aging, and that's 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 a gift. Yeah, it's okay, right? It's fine, right? But I feel that there is a youthfulness that I have now that it's and it's it's involved in the spirit yeah. and the way I think and what goes on inside my body. That that you know, anti-aging. It is not. It's not you know, lotions and potions, and those are all great. Right, right. But there's that is the secret. If they say that there's a fountain of youth, the fountain of youth is internally and what goes on inside here. Right. It really right. is. Because if you don't really have a good mindset, you know, that mindset is telling your body, I don't feel good. I don't feel good enough. I'm not. Yeah. You know, I'm just. I'm not in a good place. When am I ever going to get there? Right. Yeah. It's like it's constantly stressing your body out. I think, and that is sort of for me too with clients. That's the culmination. Yeah. You know, if they can 
bridge that gap between their body, mind, and soul. Yes. That is the ticket. It is. It's, and you know that because mm -hmm. you work with your clients and mm -hmm. you know it and you hear it. Yeah. And that's what I also try to all, I've spoken on a couple of panels now. And I think the one thing that I love to share with women right. um, at any age is that look at how you talk about yourself. You oh, know, that's great. look in the mirror and start mm -hmm. to say, wow, I love you. And you were such a cool little kid. And, yeah. you know, Pull out photos when you were super young and look I've at that, that little kid. It's like, yeah. oh my God, you're so cute. You know, good for you. You did the best you could. That is so, brilliant advice. It, it's <laughs> so the best. simple, but it is. To talk nice about yourself. Yeah. Appreciate, you know, bless your body parts. Yeah. You know, you're what comes Even the out imperfections of your, that even we the, all have. Of course. Mm -hmm. I, who wants to be perfect? Mm -hmm. Nobody. No. No such thing. No. I thought I, I did. <laughs> no, right? I'm yeah. saying, uh oh, because if I'm that got perfect, me in trouble. Then I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm True. gonna be like, uh oh. Right. Then I've done my job. I don't ever want to feel like I've done yeah. my job. I want to be a student of life every single day. Oh, that's another great point. Yeah. A student of life. Yeah. You don't want to be perfect, uh -uh. right? Embrace your flaws. Exactly. But I love what you said about look in the mirror yeah. and tell yourself you love you. Yeah. You know, I absolutely love you today. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Because we would say that to our kids, right? Of course. But how come we don't say it to ourselves right? enough? Right. Because all this, you know, society just dumps all this stuff on us and yeah. then we verbally dump on ourselves and it's, yeah. it's not okay. It's what not else okay would you to tell? treat yourself bad. No. It's really not. No. And I, you know, I say it over and over again. We are we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Yeah. And if we only knew what we were capable of doing on a daily basis, we would have zero fears. That is true. So every once in a while, if you can just like look up, hit a knee, whatever it is for right. you, and to take you to that place and realize how special you are. Yeah. You know, how mm -hmm. really, truly special that we are. Look at the chatter that goes on in your head. Right. That chatter is your, auth your authentic voice. Right. If you don't like the chatter, then start to do the work on the inside and change the chatter. Yeah. And when you change the chatter, then you'll, it's just, you know. Everything awesome. can change for you. Everything can I mean, change. Every relationship. Every just, relationship. Yeah. I mean, we like, are energetic fields. Right. We vibrate on a level that is, you know, space worthy. Right. Right. Very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, it took me a lot of years to tap into that, but yeah. I am so grateful that I finally did. I mean, mm -hmm. but I still, I, as, as we probably should tell them, it's still a work in progress. Always. I mean, it's always. So I kind of always thought, wow, the grass is greener. Once I reach that point, it's everything's going to be golden. I had that mindset, but it wasn't ever. There's yeah. always something, some hurdle I have to overcome. Yeah. But, and I think that's good to embrace that too. Right. Because right. then that creates less frustration. Yeah. You know, just like, okay, yeah, it's, it's okay. never done. Mm -hmm. It's never done. Right. Right. And I always tell myself it's okay to not be okay some days. Of course. Yeah. And I yeah. think that I try to tell my girls that they don't quite understand that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like, but wait, that doesn't make sense. I need to be okay. Yeah. But you really don't. You really don't. Yeah. And that yeah. also sort of calms down the body too. It does. It's so. all how you react to it. Mm -hmm. all right. it we're always going to have ups and downs. And right. I think one of my favorite things, you know who uh, Dr. John Martini uh -huh. is? And he says, you're either in your way or on your way. <laughs> that's a good one too. Right? Yes. It's like, oh, that's yeah. another light bulb yeah. moment. It's like, heck yeah. I know. So let, let me get out of my way. And these are things that we really weren't taught growing nope. up, were you? Like, nope. did your parents sort of guide you down this path at all? No. You had to learn it on your own. I did, and I'm glad that I did because I, I learned it because I wanted to. Yeah. So there was, uh, it. well, it also kept showing up and showing yeah. up. And so at some point you have to think, you okay, have to I, gotta, I gotta look at this and why am I being brought to this kind of work? And right. what obviously this is something, the path that I need to be on. And I think it's it's important that you listen to your gut, Yeah. you know, and follow the, that path. The instincts are You wanna strong. be on your path. You don't wanna be on anybody else's path. Right. Cause right. it will never work. And don't compare. And don't compare. Yeah, that's mm -mm. a killer too. Oh yeah. So. I mean, I, it's like I say to my son, too. It's like, you know, you want to be the world needs you to be who you were meant mm -hmm. to be. Right. Nobody else. Right. Nobody else. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I could chat with you I all know, day. We talk, <laughs> and all I know. I always love talking about this stuff with you. But let's talk about yeah. why uh, we did feel so youthful. Yes. I mean, do you know anything about 
True Niogen. Boy, do I know some stuff <laughs> about True Niogen. Um, Are you a, a convert yeah. to True Niogen? Yes. Yeah. And I love the science behind it. Yeah. Again, it's something that um, uh, if you go to the video, you know, yeah. I always send people because I've written about it a couple of times. Yeah. And the best way to explain it is I tell people to go to the website, look at the videos, check out, you know, the, the doctors, the scientists and, uh -huh. you know, and, and what and they're just, saying and about learn it. what it is mm -hmm. and what it is in our body when we lose it and how this has been proven safely to help. Right. I mean, it has really been a lifesaver in a yeah. lot of ways and Ener for energy. And I know for me, you know, I wasn't sleeping last summer and then I started taking it. And probably a month later, I was sleeping again. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I think it was part of my protocol that really did help me get back on track. Yeah. And it's my energy levels are just amazing. So I know. And the focus, love it. Yeah. I think the focus, mm -hmm. I think the muscle repair. Yeah. You know, especially uh, for the older yeah. as we're getting older. Yeah, yeah exactly. I know it's beautiful. Yeah, well, no, I'm 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 you're 100 on board <laughs> behind it. Yeah, I sure. love it. So I ask all my guests if they had to sum up their mission in one word. What would yours be? Mm. Spiritual. Mm. I don't think anyone said that. And I've had some spiritual <laughs> people on this show. That's beautiful. Yeah. Spiritual. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.